Hello everyone. Welcome to the final group project of analytics case study. So for the final uh, group project, we got a case study on Lee Nielsen Toolworks. And uh, our group member has only two members. I'm Ashish Ramesh and with me I have Yogesh Bhai Patel. The introduction of Lee Nielsen Toolworks is goes like this. It is a small family owned company manufacturing very high quality woodworking tools in coastal Maine. Started in 1981 with just one man, it has expanded to 100 employees in 35 years, producing a wide range of tools. So now let's see in this case study what kind of problem this company is facing. Production planners have a tough time dealing with the problem of manufacturing waste. Any waste severely hinders a company's ability to predict its output. High standards quality check policies make it hard to produce a good amount of tools. Management is frequently obliged to put other plans on hold to develop new emergency production plans to make up for the deficit caused by the scarcity. Inadequate infrastructure and employee ret retention are at a lower rate. Now let's see about the decision criteria of this case study. As part of company's next major project, it will concentrate on all shop related computer systems from CAD system to the production of machine programs and the preservation of uh, management data. Every aspect of its operation is essentially the intellectual property of the tool making process as evidenced by the way it conducts itself. The paperwork, images, drawings, software and other materials that one may get their hands on are valuable resources. Consequently, it is what the organization will concentrate on next, training the employee and empowering the HR sector of the company, assessing the units where they need more manpower to meet quality needs. Let's see some of the analysis made by the author of this case study. High revenue and sales growth are produced by the company, yet profits were not enough to give them growth. There have been lots of difficulty with workforce management. They addressed their manufacturing problems with lean manufacturing, but it was still not enough as some of the sectors of their company were still going in losses. Assessing production planning at the company is one of the steps that they have taken after that. Market research and analysis to see where they stand among their competitors is still in their need, but they were not doing it uh, enough. Now let's see some of the alternatives that we have found in this case study, which this company can apply to upscale the production unit and to upscale the workforce. The possibilities and alternatives available to the organization considering present performance and other connected variables that have been realized during the operating procedure. Alternatives that have been identified include the migration of business to more extensive facilities capable of hosting and catering to all industries requirements and desires. Such an option would aid the development and progress of this specific firm. Furthermore, the option of retaining manual tools for use in various situation as a backup will also add to the organization resilience and preparation for any unpleasant scenarios that may arise soon. Now let's see some of the additional alternatives. Effective communication by management to their employees is really, really needed. Employee benefits and proper work-life balance for the employees is also important. Proper inventory and warehouse management is also needed. Latest tools and technology advancement at the production units and uh, adopting new technologies and ways to do things is also important to upscaling their production. Highly skilled labor recruitment and technical leadership to assess the quality is also needed for this company. Here I would like to mention some of the recommendation on this case study. First of all, LNT has to uh, hire an advanced marketing research team and then also they need to adapt ERP which is an enterprise uh, resource planning. It's a software that manages a company's financial supply chain operation and human resource activities. Apart from this IT department uh, needs to work on the data analysis, machinery analysis and marketing and sales management and a growing number of businesses are putting lean manufacturing ideas to use of uh, the first uh, uh, company who implemented uh, lean manufacturing tech, uh, techniques uh, was Toyota who implemented them in its production process for the first time. There are several ways to streamline a manufacturing process to lean manufacturing industry. 
Now we'd like to talk about the implementation for this case study. First, uh, the leadership team must give up on their uh, original goal of resurrecting hand tool woodworking and spreading the gospel of its virtue to a new generation. They need to start implementing use of analytical tools such as data mining are the most uh, used even though other options are accessible. Uh, second, creating a monthly uh, and yearly budget to assess uh, marketing cost, hiring cost and production cost. Uh, third, recruiting skill workers and new department to solely focus on certain areas which company is lacking right now. And the last, uh, marketing campaigns to promote the company in their market and customer base to make it grow. Let's discuss about the first question. Given the facts of the case, describe the challenges which Lai Nielsen uh, Toolworks faced and explain the impact of the challenges on the company's growth. So first I would like to say regarding a supervisor take, take uh, written notes and up, update them at the conclusion of their shift resulting in late or erroneous data entry. As a result, the production uh, schedule has been pushed back. Various people were harmed as a result of LNT's inadequate uh, ERP system and manual execution of many operational activities, which uh, frequently resulted in human mistake. LNT has the opportunity to grow its market by adding new sites, extending product lines, and keep uh, enough inventory on hand to uh, meet demand. But the company's decision to stay local is generating a major challenges. The second question is about summarize the reason why human resource acquisition and retention is the major challenge for LNT and explain the strategies to overcome the challenge. So first, LNT was established in Maine and is stubbornly local, which means it hires local rather than outsourcing. This means the local businesses such as Lineals and Toolworks won't uh, able to hire local candidates or the candidates who are looking for jobs. Another challenge uh, is getting the right people in the right place at the right time, as well as giving them the tools they need to succeed and a clear set of expectation to meet. The IT department is having difficulty hiring and retaining talented employees. Company's reputation or the beachside main climate LNT has fortunate of drawing talented personnel from out of state. This skilled workforce must train and nurture talent in main middle coast employees. So now let's talk about the third question. Describe the different types of waste which LNT experienced in its production and process and explain the impact it had on the company. So first uh, is uh, scrap of waste is a problem in production planning due to LNT strict quality requirements. A significant part of the work in progress may be destroyed due to casting defects uh, discovered during the machining or a production error. Even if the problem is caused by a flaw in the foundry metals casting rather than LNT, the flaw is usually only discovered after many hours of wasted work. The fact that some items such as tool blades require a significantly longer lead time than others, exacerbating the problem, the production planning. Consequently, they must start earlier. This is not only requires a long-term demand forecast, but also complicates the production management, has different areas of the shop work at the different time. The fourth question asked to explain the important skill which Tom's employees are lacking. State in your opinion how best they can be equipped with the skill set. The most important skill that Tom employees lack were management and forecasting abilities. Tom needed to look around the shop to have a better understanding of the figures and what was going on. To educate employees these abilities, there are a number of measures and methodologies that can be used. LNT should recruit some senior management personnel to handle floor decisions and reducing Tom's reliance on him and allowing him to focus on more important matters. Employees should be trained so that they can work uh, autonomously and efficiently. Instead of uh, theoretical training, the organization should place a greater emphasis on highly uh, quality training such as practical workshop. Tom should believe in his team and find uh, various ways to motivate them to share his vision. For uh, some of the less crucial decision-making challenges, Tom should step back and allow staff figure out the best solution on their own. Tom ought to 
planned a few meetings for character advancement as well as special improvement for his staff and interpersonal specialized capabilities assume a basic part in an organization prosperity and thus he can guarantee that nobody uh, needed a, a flns decision fifth question says describe the concept of lean manufacturing process and explain why toyota is popular with the production process explain if the lean process is suitable for lnt and state the advantage of the process so lean uh, manufacturing is a manufacturing process that means to increment proficiency while decreasing the waste as per the lean concept waste is all that doesn't furnish clients with the value for which they are prepared to pay so the success of this method in toyota is because they implemented kanban method in a proper way to implement lean method whenever a product is uh, gobbled up uh, downstream from a workstation in a kanban system the event conveys a message upstream to the work center instructing it to make an extra unit lean manufacturing can likewise help with post machining uh, cycle for example finishing which incorporates grinding and cleaning also uh, has gathering which uh, should be uh, generally possible in the nick of time assuming we have things line up that are prepared to get done question 6 says to summarize the impact of poor inventory management in lnt and describe the implications of stock out and back order on the company so the first uh, biggest problem are first deciding what to produce and secondly improving factory management lnt produces almost 100 different varieties of handmade tools but demand for those tools is very low lnt is not able to estimate demand and the company is unable to well plan for organizing production timetables second lnt is insufficient stock control consequences in advert and the manufacturing schedules which reasons delays because um, the organization is not able to offer the completed product to its customers on time and it loses their uh, consumer because of this issue the fact that some items admired tool blades need a well longer interval than other complicate uh, production designing and necessities uh, beginning earlier not solely while this necessitate a uh, longer term demand estimates however it additionally makes production tougher to manage as result of totally different parts of the looking are going to be acting on different tools line ilson has struggled to keep a high level plan into direction for its industrial employees question 7 says distinguish between the erp system and fulfillo.io uh, system and explain the issue which lnt had with the erp system the erp system encrypts customer information and orders are issued without payment the, this system is incompatible with lnt's requirement manager must uh, record output and scrap totals on paper and enter them into the spreadsheet at the end of the each shift this is frequently overlooked or mistakenly entered on the other hand fulfill.io is a vert versatile platform that can handle everything from inventory management to cross platform selling instead of using various uh, spreadsheet this uh, solution allowed lnt to handle all of its operation in one spot when uh, you use fulfill.io you can man uh, maintain all of your data in one location employees cannot identify their daily responsibilities using the epr system since some manager write notes uh, manually on the other side fulfill.io used uh, staff exec dates to utilize throughout the day it also instruct them what to prioritize based on the client demand question 8 assume you are a business analytic consultant explain the process of adopting analytics process for lnt and state the implications on lnt's business performance in your opinion what process should lnt follow to execute a successful analytic design and team the analytical process is essential since it increases efficiency productivity and revenue growth the results of the analysis reveal linelson tool works where it needs to improve in such a circumstance however you should ask various questions such as what kind of problems the organization is ex experiencing and attempting to fix as well as the way the, the problems are existing are new or it's already been focusing from the long time
Your company's goals should be clearly defined since they will act as a guide for the analytical process. Second, the data gathering is the second step in creating an effective analytical design. Among other things, the organization must gather on sales numbers and consumer dem demographics. Another phase in the effectiveness of analytics design is data wrangling. It is uh, critical for the organization to clean the data before beginning the analytical process. So this effects on Lion Nielsen's tool work business performance is that uh, due to scarcity and unavailability of unexperienced uh, people, they, they should hire uh, experienced local people, which will help them uh, to work hard with the component workforce and train the uh, unexperienced uh, employees, then keep them once they have acquired market table abilities. So question nine says, describe the component of the case difficulty cube and state the concept in the LNT case and explain how you would position the case on the case difficulty cube. The first issue that a company is dealing with is a lack of human resources. One element contributing to the difficulty is that the company is located in low population area where fishing and tourism are the main uh, primary industries. On the other side, there is a scarcity of persons uh, with the appropriate qualification that the company requires for its employees after being taught many individuals seek jobs with the other organization that provide a greater earnings. If the company's management uh, wants to solve an issue with uh, making the correct tools at the right time, they should consider lean manufacturing and also known as just-in-time manufacturing. It will lay add an elimination of waste and has a result boost output. Furthermore, management should consider employing uh, employee retention measures to keep trained off. By saying this, I would like to end this presentation. Thank you for staying with us for this whole presentation.